I record, I think, maybe for Jiang Ling, who Jia Ling, she might want to see in the future, okay? Now, we will start this one, all right? Last week, we already started to recite the Was, Wasati, Wasidwa, Wasidum, Gam, Gachati, Gandwa, Gandum, Ta, Titati, Tatwa, Tantum. So, to memorize it, you just have to recite the way I recite, okay? When I study diploma, really start with one, you go across this one and go across this one, this one. So later, if you want to skillful, you look at the like verb, okay? Look at the verb, then you use your hand to cover gerund infinity. Then based on your memory, you recite and you check whether the your the one you exist in memory, is it same or not? So use your hand to cover like gerund infinitive. Okay, so like wasati, then you cover. Then after that, when you say the wasitwa, then you check whether your pronunciation is correct or not. Wasitwa. And of course, the best one is you look at the verb present tense, then you write from your memory the gerund infinitive. So there's another way. Test your own memory. Okay, so don't look at the book. Just look at the present tense and write the gerund infinitive. This one you do as your own exercises. Okay, that, that's how I do. Now today, uh, beside doing the exercises, so this is the one that actually I done last year with all the students, uh, the previous class, uh, including like Jenny, uh, Chiwon. So the one that I asked yesterday, I start the ask the student yesterday is those who learn already. At least they learn few years, one year, two years from brother Kao, I think. Uh, maybe one year from me, one or two years from me. Okay, now root is was. Okay, so if you want to do exercise, you do like this, was, uh, follow the Palimi Easy Book like this, okay, like this way, root, present tense, general infinity. So I look like this, a uh, was and plus a uh, conjugation, all right, conjugation sign. And then present tense, you plus the t, wasati. Jaren, you write tua or ya, wasitua, okay, and wasitum, okay, so you can do like this. Now, before I go to this, I think I need to mention this one, I think to make yourself understand, because sometimes uh, you read the Palimit Easy Book, but you might not get it. Now, when we say the verb, it made of two parts, verbal base and verbal termination, okay. Now, this is actually referred to like present tense, for example, the root will be, okay, han. And then the conjugation sign will be a, okay. And when you got the t, so you will have hanatic cues, okay. So that's how we form the verb in Bali for present tense, okay. And what if, do we need to have a conjugation sign all the time? No, because for this han, if you look at the Pali Meiji, you notice that there's another one, T. Okay. Then you got the one, Han T. So it also means kills. Okay. So this means that this conjugation sign is actually not known it all the time. Right. Right. So this is a simple example. Now, verbal base is important when you have some more, little bit more complicated, like, uh, Okay, with the, okay, why is it become so big? Huh? Okay. All right, with the boo. So when you have boo, to be, but when you have another one, so you cannot become T immediately. You have to change it to U because the U can change it to uh, or and then all become a b all right so when you have this one it become okay. what happened to the command today you have the one become bawa all right so now bawa is the we call it verbal base all right 
So this is that's why you need to get to verbal base. After you get to verbal base, then you plus the T. Okay. So for this example, it's important to have verbal base. So if you add to the root, it's only boo. Okay. So you must add root boo and conjugation sign a, then you become bawa. And plus t, you got bawati. Bawati is is like he is, she is, or sometimes we translate is uh so another form is so this is bu to be and you can direct plus the t okay so when this is a special change you drop the b so what you get is only o okay so you got the hot t so this means that's the same root it can be with conjugation sign or without conjugation sign. Okay. So bawati and but is actually same like is. And if you put the hoti, sometimes we have uh if you another example, let's say you have the let's say if we're going to change it to imperative from the word hoti, instead of add to the t, you add to the tu. So you got hot two. So that's why, like, we always see a uh, sabe sata or this hot two, hon two, right? So this is uh, may he or she or may it be. So this is an uh, imperative, right? So that's why this formula is very important for you to remember. For verb, there's a verbal base and verbal termination. Okay, any question up to here? Any things you want to ask? Okay, so is it clear now? Uh, any question? Okay. All right. Okay. So now you are clear about this. So we're going to start analyze the table already. All right. So the table is this table. All right. So I already, actually, this is based on the last year example. Right. So what we see is was, was, and then let's say yes. From the root was, you can just uh, put the itua. Okay. So this is very easy. Was plus itua. So this one was was plus itum, okay? So it's the same root was plus itwa or was plus itum. So this is easy to understand. All right. Now, for the gum, gum normally we change it to ga. So that's why you got ga plus a, you got gachati. But to, to get the, the, this one we call it, uh, the twa here, the gum is the root is gum, okay, and then the m change it to n, it become gan twa, right? Now, why is it the m must change it to n? All right, so this one is because we call it the rule in one well, of the rule in in the Bali. So we look at the this one, all right. So this M. Now gan tua T, all right. The letters is T. Uh when you see the like, example, gan is actually T. The next letter is T, all right. The next letter is T. So because of this T, the T here in the dental, that's why the M change it to N. All right, so I'll repeat again. Because of gan tua, the first T in the T, so that's why the gam, G-A-M, change it to N, right? So this is because of the way we pronounce it. So instead of pronounce gam, G-A-M, we pronounce it gan, okay, G-A-N. Okay, clear? Uh, uh, any question? Any, do, you, do you get the point? So this means the M change it to N. 
So we write like this, okay, M change it to N due to the influence of the T. We call it the neighboring sound. So, 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 when you got the gum tum, M change it to N. So we write this, yeah, okay, so instead of gum tum, you got gun tum, G-A-N. Okay. So any point, if you want to ask, you can ask, all right. So if no, I just continue. Now, the root is ta, all right. Next one is ta, to stand. Now, ta can change it to tik ta, all right. So we can just write that thing and then change it to a uh, conjugation sign in tik. So you got tik ta tik is stands. But for the gerund, you don't put the itwa, okay. You just put the tua, right. So tat tua, having stood. And then you put the tum. Tatum to stand. Tum means to stand. This means that for the this gerund, okay, for gerund we always use like this I. When we put the I in bracket, that means that this is a I is optional. So also for the infinitive, we put the I in bracket, this means that is uh, optional. So that's why just now, like tatwa, okay. You don't need to put I here. Or tatwa here, gantwa, you also don't need to put the I. You just need to put the dwa and dwa. Okay? So th that's a grammar here. Okay, next one. Next one is more, little bit more complicated. Uh, ut and ta. Okay, so when you combine, you got the uta hati or utati. How do you get this utahati? All right, is when you put the ta, so you the root is duplicate, so ta and ta, right? And then the one of the ta, the second ta, you drop the t. So when you drop the t, you have the h, and this long a becomes short a, right? Then you got the utaha, and but when the prefix ut with the roots combine. So the D is assimilated. So you got the TT dot dot H. All right. So you got Utaha. Utaha. And then you plus the T. So Utaha T or Uta T. All right. Uta T is very G. Ut and Ta and T only. So this kind of changes is very common in Bali. And why they put it? Because it's much more easy to pronounce. And then for this example, Utaha. And then you put the itwa. So utaha plus itwa. So utaha itwa. Okay. So this is example here. Utaha, you just drop it. So you go itwa. But another possible uh, suffix is ya. Because the ya is added to the uh, root. Any root, you can put the ya here. So instead of itwa, another possible is utaya. Now, these two examples, which is more common? All right, so we can do a search here. Okay, you can see this 3, 8, 4, including others. Okay, you can see this another example here. Utwa, hitwa, na. For the gerund, you also can put extra na. This is also gerund. Okay. So this is 384. How about this example? I think this is more common. Okay, now you can see this 626. Six. So utaya is much more general, much in use in Tiptaka. All right. So this means that beside these two examples, like we already just now, we also can put the extra one, na. Okay. So it has three. This means for this example, ut and ta, actually you have three gerund. Uta hitwa, uta hitwa na, extra na, uta ya. And this is, this one is actually more common. Okay, so this is more common here. And then the root is uh, infinity. Infinity means like two. Here will be two get up. So you just put the itum, uta ha, plus the itum. Uta 
and plus the tum. So utahitum or utatum. Okay. So no question, I'll continue. So if you want to ask, you stop me, all right? Okay, now. Next one. Now, the root is ni and sat. Sat change to sit. So, verbal VB is verbal base in nisida. So, nisida, nisida, nisida means sit, to sit, sit down, right? So, the meaning is sit down. So, when you have the verbal base nisida, then you put the itwa and then nisiditwa, right? And you got the nisidum. Right. So it's only show one example here. But maybe there's another example. This is the only one example here. This Oh, not this one. Okay, this is another example. Okay, so only one example here. So I think now it's easier already. Now the next one will be A and Gam. So A and Gam, Gam change to Luga. So verbal base is Agacha. Agacha plus T, Agacha T comes. Now same, when you combine the M, change it to N. So you got Agantua or Agam, Agamya. Agamya, uh, when you combine, you can agama, right? So agama coming from this one. M M Y. So M Y here. So when you want to write, you can just write right? M right become M M. So we call it the uh, M is Y is assimilated to M. So agama. So meaning same meaning means uh, after coming, having come, and so on. So infinitive will be agantum. Okay, so so this means that for example like this, there are two. Like just now, there are three. Like some only two, only one. Okay, only one gerund. This is two. Okay. All right. So next one. Okay, eighty comes. Now this is a special one. So we go back to the the Bali Mezi book. Okay, it's not shown here. So it's only shown the come, all right? Only this example come. Okay. But another example for come is a t, all right? Eti is the root is e plus a, so eti come. So this might not occur. So I think it's not possible. But maybe we have etwa. So let's see. Is etwa is okay? I think etwa also not possible. Okay. So this example is not common. Etum also I think does not come. This means that this agachati is more common. This eti also exists, but I'm not so sure what is the gerund here. Okay. So we just take it this for agam for agachati, you got agantua agam agamma agantum. Right. So another formation possible maybe the root is with the prefix a, the root is e to go. And eti, eti, all right. So all these are agachati eti. The same meaning is comes. Right. So next example will be C to lie down. So you change to I change to E A Y. So you got saya sa sa plus a and t. So saya. So it's saya t to lie down. So this means that the verbal base will be. S A Y A, all right. So if you get a saya, then you plus the itwa, you got sayitwa, all right. So it's already mentioned here. And then a uh, sayitum. 
I think by now you all see, see the pattern already, so it will be easy. Okay, next one will be apa. Now, the root actually is same, gum to go. But this prefix apa means away. Alright, so apa gachati is goes away. Now, verbal base will be verbal base will be this apa gacha, okay? But here, instead of using apa gacha, we are using apa and gum. So you got uh, apa and gum, then you plus the tua, m, change it to n, you got apa gan tua. The infinity will be apa gan tum. Okay? Now, let's say, do we have another apa gachi tua? Let's see. Okay, we don't have apa gachi tua. Right, we don't use the gacha here, so we use the gum, apa gum, apa gantua, apa gantua, apa gantum. Okay, okay, 19 example only. So, this is not so common, right? So, th that's how we do one by one, right? So, right, so today I will cover a few and then uh, we will do exercise also. So uh, this is apa, apa ganto, apa ganto. So next one will be pa and up. This pa and up is actually, you need to take some time to remember, all right? Because there's a lot of change here. Prefix is pa. The root is up, okay? The meaning of up is to attain, to approach, right? So when you combine this, there are a few, uh, two. Here it has two verbs. Papunati, paputi, same meaning. Uh, means that attends, approach, right? Attends or approach, same meaning. So, attends, approach, same. So, pa plus up. And then, remember we say seven conjugation sign. So, one of the conjugation sign is uh, this una. So, when you combine this one, pa plus up and una, uh, then... First, you get the verbal base, papuna. Okay, so this is the one, papuna plus tic. So you papuna tic. But how do you get this papoti? It's a pa plus up. Okay, and another conjugation side is nu. So when you combine P, A, A and A, it combined become long A. Okay, I make it up here. So these two, A and A, become long A, then P and U, P and N, this means that this is this one, P and, P and N become PP, right? So when you got this form, you will get something like this, pa, po, okay? Now, actually, this is long A, but one of the Pali grammar is that when double consonant, you cannot have a, Normally, I would say use the normally. In front of double consonant, there will not be a long A, so you must change it to short A. So you got papo, papo, and then you put the T, all right? So papo T coming from pa plus up plus no and T. So this one example. But some of the dictionary will give you different thing, all right? So every dictionary have their own explanation. Some will say is uh, for example, they say pa plus up and o and t, all right? Pa plus up and o and t, so different explanation from different dictionary. Okay, so I think this is also quite acceptable. It will be much more actually easy to... Okay. All right, so uh, this is a little bit difficult, but this is easy. So you got papuna, when you have the verbal base, papuna, when you, how to get verbal base very easy, you just drop the T, then you got the papuna. So when you got the papuna, then you put the itua, very easy. So you got papunitua. And how you get the, this one, 
papuya. You can see there's another one, papuya. This is a little bit complicated. Papuya is a papo, papo, and remember the another suffix beside the tua itua is ya. Okay, so when you put the ya, then the yy is the uh duplicate and then u and y. So you got papuya, and patua is very easy. Pa plus up and then you put the tua. So patua. Then when you combine, uh, for example, you got the pa and up, you got p a p. So P and T V, so we call it this is a triple consonant. So in Pali we don't have triple consonant. In Sanskrit we have. So that is why you must drop the first P. Alright. So you got the uh patwa. So all these are not to say you must remember, but at least you all should at least get to know it. So next time you'll be able if you want to learn more advanced Pali, then you should be able to uh, follow some okay. So papu ni tua papu ni tum papu tum papu uh papu tum means papu and tum. All right. Okay. So far, any question? Okay. Next one will be easy. All right. The papoti papunit uh this this one was difficult so now next one is easy. Ut and gum so ut the meaning of ut is a uh, up. So ut and gum means to go up. So ukachati. How you get ukachati very easy? Yeah. So when you combine the d and g, you will you need to put as a gg. Okay, then the gum change to ga, so you got the ukachati go sum. Ga, uh, this ut is always prefix means up, right? So goes up. So based on the ut and gum, based on ut and gum, so uh, you got ukan tua plus itua. But ut and gum and plus the ya, you got ukam ya. Okay, so this is the uh, same like just now my change it to uh, my change it to mm. And this is the next one. So based on the uk and gum, and then you put the tum, so you got ukan tum. So to also to goes up. So tum is always to to do this, to do that. All right. Next one is nya to know. So nya is uh you can change it to jia, right? Why we change it to jia? Because the Sanskrit is uh j nya. So you can find this is only at this dictionary, at this uh, at this uh Pali Tech Society. All right, you only can find this uh Janati, not this one, Ja, uh, Janati, okay? Okay, you can find in only in Pali Tech Society, you can see the Vedic here. So if you want to find the uh, Sanskrit, you have to find this one. Yeah. Right? So this one, Nya, can change it to Ja. So you got the Janati. Verbal base is Jana. So based on the Jana, you plus the Itwa, you got Janitwa. But if you get from the original nya and you put the tua, you got the nya tua. Oh, this one should be long a. Nya tua. Okay, since long a. Okay, it's a short a. Okay, nya tua. Alright, this means that. Uh, 
Okay, so this long A becomes short A. So, yeah, plus the tua. Okay, so this one becomes short A. So sometimes take some time to remember long A or short A. So since you had the janitua, you have janitua, janitum, yeah, okay, so this one. So you got the janitua, you got janitum, you got the nyatua, you got nyatum, all right? It's because the, like mentioned just now, the root can be nya or jia. So we had two. So next one will be jinati. Jinati means to conquer, to win. So from this word ji, so in Malay word we got jaya. All right, jaya means coming from the eye. So for example, j i i can i can change it to e, change it to a y, and if you put the a, so you got the jaya. Jaya is actually Malay word coming from this sem. Okay. Uh, okay. This is just extra note here. We we'll just put as underline. We'll just put other color. All right. So, G, you have the conjugation sign na. So, jina. So, based on the jina, you got jinitwa. Okay. Jina plus tua. So, jinitwa or Based on the J I, I can change it to E. Okay, so you got the J tua. If you have Jini tua, then you got Jini tum. You got J tua, you got J tum. Right? So you, you just have to remember there are two form here Jinati, Jini tua, J tua. Jini tua, J Jini tum. J tua, J tum. So if you can remember like this, it's easy. So to here. Sunati is always here. The root is su. Su is to here and na. Long uh, end with the dot with the conjugation sign n a dot. So based on the suna, you got sunitua. Based on the root su, you plus the tua, you got sutua. So if you have sunitua, then you got sunitum. If you have sutua, you got sotum, where the u change it to o. So let's say sunitua and sutua, which is more common. Okay, sunitua is only 47 or this sunitua not 44. So how about sotua? Sutua, okay, sutua. So sutua is, uh, you can see, 8,000. So sutua actually is more common. Okay, so this is uh, most common. All right. So, so sotum or sunitum, which one is more common? So you can just download this software and do a search yourself. Sunitum is only ten. Okay. How about sotum? Sotum is two to seven. All right. This means that sutua and sotum is okay most common. So I just put asterisk here. Okay. More common. All right, I think by now you all can understand. So uh, there are still many. I will leave some for next week because if I finish one in one week, you all cannot remember. But because last time when I teach the student, it take me actually one month or four times because we are going through some of them slowly. But if you are learning something for one month, then you you will have a better impression of that thing rather than you finish everything in one day. All right, so chu to steal to rule. So if you know the Malay word penchuri, right, or churi, it's actually the root is same chu to steal. So chu, because of this a, the this we pronounce the, the letter e, but we pronounce a. So because of this, I think it's seven conjugation sign. So if you want to write that, you can put write that seven. So chu and a. This U become O, so you got Chore. Based on Chore, you put Dua, so you got Chore Dua. Based on Chore, 
you pass tum so choret tum. So always remember chu u c u r can change it to c o r. So next one is root to cry. So it has two, uh, present tense rudati, where you can change it to all rodati. So then because of the ruda plus itua ruditua roda roditua, okay. So you got the ruditum roditum. All right. Uh, I think so far I will stop here. So we list some for next week. So uh, for those who are listening now, can you follow so far, Sister Chai Hoon? Uh, how about other students? Okay. Any answer? Okay. Yeah. Uh. I'm still driving. Okay. Okay. She's driving. Yeah. All right. Uh, Sister Chai Hoon, can follow. Yes. Okay, okay, all right. So we will continue it again next week, all right. So I will stop here. Uh if you want I can share later. Okay, next go for the homework. Last week we already finished how many? Uh I think question three, right? Not here, right? Uh last week is where? Question three. Huh? Can I listen? Three or four? Three, not, not yet, right? Okay. okay, not yet. Okay, now. All right. Okay, now, so we start with question three. This is a uh, homework. So, Aham Bujitwa Saitum Na Ichami. All right. So, typing mistake. Okay. So, remember, me before me must be long A. Okay. So, when you see this one, you can just break here. So you can translate aham. Now this typing also a mistake. Bun. Bun chitwa. After eating. Now how you got this bun chitwa? It's like just now. Uh, itwa. Alright. So you can see Bali is the, uh, where's the boom? We'll go through some of the things next week. This one. Okay. Uh, yeah. This one, bun, bujati, bunchitua, butua, bunchitum, bottom, all right? So, so after eating, I, okay, I is a subject, first person, singular, saitum, okay? Saitum is always tum, you just translate it to, saya, to lie down. Na is no, icha, mi, yeah. It's a future tense, first person, singular, all right? So the main verb is actually ichami, and this is another one. So if you want to write, you can put it. This is a, a V1. So this will be. Okay, you can put here, not, not at the Bali. So this is called verb 1, and this is a verb 2, or main verb. So one verb, two verb, buchitwa ichami. So after eating, then I desire. Ichami is wish or desire. Sometimes we can translate Ichami is a uh, wish or desire. Okay. I wish not. Uh, actually, I do not desire or I do not wish. Na is no. I do not wish. Now, saitum, tum. All right. From the word sayati. So, to lie down. So you just have to see the Pali Meiji and find the Sayati. Okay, Sayati, Sayitwa, Sayitum, all right? So to lie down, okay? So I do not wish to lie down after eating. This one way to translate, or you can translate is, since na is actually maybe strong, so you can put the after eating, you can put it. So I do not wish to lie down after eating. All right. So what's the between this one and this one? Uh, Chai Hui, can you see what's the difference between this one and this one? This sentence and the sentence I write. Can you see what's the difference between these two? Uh, uh, I, I don't know. I like like the same. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The difference is 
if you say what is important in English, let's say if you find that after eating is important, then you put after eating first. But if you find that I do not wish is more important, then you write I do not wish. Can follow? So I do not wish to lie down, meaning put in front is more important. Ah. Yes, yes. Okay. I do not wish to lie down. This means that after eating or after drinking doesn't matter. But the key point is I do not wish to lie down. I do not wish. Okay. So we emphasize on the word I do not wish. But if you like this, after eating, after eaten, maybe this is more important. It's same like English, right? Okay. 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 All right. So, yeah, this is the second conjugation sign, but and a uh, and m. So, you got pucha, buchitua. Uh, now, like good, like this, so you start to process in your mind. So, when you put the m and then the consonant in between, then the m change it to nya, then the then pass the itua, then the buchitua. Okay, is change the itch and a uh, and me. So, you made a mistake here. Itcha me. Okay, simple mistake. <laughs> like just now. You put bachitua is a buchitua. Can follow? Okay, this sentence is easy. So aham. So for anybody, you all should write. So if you don't want to uh, type in computer, like Chu Fang is doing, write on a notebook. Because when I learned this diploma time, um, how long ago? I think 15 years. Uh, quite long. <laughs> so we write down a piece of paper. Uh, notebook. Okay. Tada. Now, the question is always start with ka or ku is always a question, all right? Da is always on. So, remember the prefix like we call it tada. So, like tada is at that time. So, the da is carry the meaning of time. So, da here is also time. But ka here is question, okay? Ka here is a question. So, we can put it's a question. So, when or or if direct translation, you can put that kada means what time. Okay? So you can see the function of da. Can or not? Tada, that time. Kada, what time. So means when. Alright? So when you, second person singular. Okay, now. We'll go. Right? Shall go. Okay, for you, we don't use the word shall. Okay, according to Port Meiji, we should use the will. Right? When shall you go? We don't use the word when shall you go. We Even in English, we don't use the word shall we go. When will you go? When will you, future tense, second person singular, there. When will you go there to... Expound. So we translate this one, okay? So subject is very easy. You, verb is a will go, they to expound. And then the this plus a. So we got they say and itum. Gam plus ga. Gam change to ga plus a. Gacha. But isa, isa si. Gachi sa si. Alright? Okay, and this question is simple. Alright, so I think it's okay. So we just go forward. Question number five. Now you can see the tua here. Tuam you uh verb one, yes. Agantua after coming here. Okay, after come ida is here. So you write adverb, yes, but what kind of adverb? There are many adverb. Okay, so you can write adverb or you can just write it's a place. Adverb or place also can. Because they are adverb is very uh have big type, a big range of type. So wasahi. Now, he is uh, like two and two he. So, this imperative second person singular. So, you, I think this, uh, yeah, you write second G, not G. I think you're typing this as second P, all right? Two P, not G. Second person, all right? Well, actually, if you can just write like this, it's okay. Two is okay, or P is okay. So, you come here, having come here, you may stay here you may after coming after come not after come also not good uh after come here you may stay here also okay 
So or indirect, you may come and stay here. I think it's okay. A plus gum. Gan, all right. Then M become N. So at gan dua. So you can write like this. M change it to N, all right. So we can see the changes. So M change it to N. So a gan dua. So was plus A and he. This one also typing mistake. Should be long A. Okay. Wasahi. Because to and to hit wasahi should be long a right so check your bali mezi again right so now we can translate like this but since this is a imperative mode remember imperative mode we can use as a command so we also can wish it this is a like wish so you may come and stay here it sounds like a wish okay uh, a wish or desire let's say we make it as a command okay uh, you come and stay here. So this will sound like a command, okay? All right. But if you want to more command, so uh, let okay, let you stay. So this is more like let you come and stay here. So it it sounds like a command, okay? Because to follow the imperative, imperative can be a wish or desire, or can be a command here. Or sometimes it can be a blessing. You may come and stay here. It sounds like may a blessing, but I think it's a wish here. Alright, so no question, I'll continue. Question number six. De, de, kasitwa, after plow, bunjitum, itum, alright, to eat. Ida, here now, this adverb is very. Uh, I suggest you put adverb of place or so just put place. Now, imsu is always aorist, third person pura, so verb two. Uh, this one you cannot put as a verb because this is a infinitive. It's not a verb here, so better don't put a verb because it might confuse. So if you see, after plowing is first verb, they came. It's a second word. So I think it's better just use the word infinity. Infinity is also an English grammar. Right? So they, after plowing, they came here to eat. Okay? After plowing, they came here to eat. That is better. Okay? Cast plus itua, kasitua. This is same, right? All right? So it's good you do the work analysis like this. Alright, so this number six already. So Mayam Idani Atra Buchitwa. So remember when you see the toa you can break already. Then Wapitum Tahing Gachisama. So we will translate from this part first. Mayam V Idani now, yeah, it's ever of time. Atra place here, right? Here, bun. Uh, I think typing missing. We got bun bun tua. We don't have bun tua. Bun chit tua, I think. Bun tua, right? Number seven, but you put extra this one. <laughs> All right, but uh, but two, uh, seven, but two, okay, but two, yeah, okay. And long a two, it must be two, all right, but two, all right. So my yam idani atra but two, so the verb here, but two. So every time you see the two, you can stop, put the break here. So we. Idani now here after eating. So after eat here now, okay. Now we translate. We you can put a we connect with this one. We uh will go in pretty first person pura. We will go there tahim. Okay, there to sow. To sow means uh, to sow the seed. Wapitum. Okay. From the word wapati become wapitum. So after eating here, we go there to sow the seed, right? So, butch, 
Dah just now buci tua, kam, kaci sama, wap, das a, wapitum. Saji, this is but tua. Oh, yeah, but tua. Uh, this one. So I have to change Okay, now to... if you want to change it to this one, uh, I think this one you don't need. This extra. Okay, you can just from the root boot change it to uh okay, you don't even need the word I, okay? Because that's why I say the I is optional, right? So when you combine, you can just drop the J. Because in Pali we don't have triple consonants. So if you had J T V, then you just need have to drop this one. Drop one J. So you got the no, butchitua. Butua. Okay. So this means that you combine, you just drop the first J. Butua after eating. Okay. After eating here, we shall go there to so. After eating or having eaten. Same meaning. So, Jaren, we can try. After eating or having eaten here now. Now. So, yeah, now refer to if we eat first here and we will go there means later. We will go there to sow later. Yes, okay. All right. Okay, next one. Okay, question number eight. Okay, no question. I just continue, all right? Question number eight. Bali. Te atra chore tua ito david tua tatra papu nimsu. So, yes, you got tua, verb one, verb two, verb three. So, te, de atra is here. Uh, chore tua, jaren, after stolen, here. Ito from de, to is from. So, we translate as a ever place. Uh, Actually, from the da da di da witwa after running, okay, having run or after running, verb two, tatra there, papunisu reach. So because it's a past tense, it's Aries, so we should translate everything to yeah, okay. So it's okay after stealing. So this is the first action take place after stealing, er. Uh, you should put a here, no? There's a atra here. So after stealing here, okay. So you should translate this one. But after stealing here, then the second one ito da titua, they rain from here. Okay, there's a second one you can break. Yes, then they reach day. Tatra puni so they reach day. So three action after stealing here, they rain from here. And you put the N, yes, reach there. Okay? So just now you're missing this atra. Because this one should link with the choretra. So after sitting here, the rain from here, ito is a from, not from there, from here. Okay? Ito is here, from here, and they reach there. Okay? Chu and okay. A. Yeah, chore tua, chore tua. Okay. Da plus itua. So da vitua. Pa plus up. Yes. Yeah, and I just saw una. So yeah, papu nimsu. Yeah, okay. So sometimes you can just, uh, like what we do is just now you can just make the things here. So to be clearer to yourself. P and E become long A. Okay, there you go. Papu. Pa, papuna. Yeah, it's okay. Papu name soup. Why this M become N? Oh, uh, actually, this one only. Right? It's with the una, is with the N dot. There's a una with the N dot. Sometimes the, it's not show in the Pali maze because of typing mistake. So it should be the una. Okay. Papuna. I think it's a papuna. Una, right? Long A. Papuna. Alright. Papuna should be long A here. 
papuna. Una, ok. Papuna. So only this one you need to remember. The rest are actually quite easy. Chu plus become cho. Da, da, itua. But then the n, n dot become n without the dot. Where got n without the dot? Or oh, this one? Uh? Sure have the dot also. Sure have the dot, yeah. Because the uh, papuna is, I think because sometimes the, you don't see in Pali made easy because of the typing mistake, I think. Papu. Yeah, there's a dot here. Do you see that? Okay, I okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So next time you be careful. Lah. Be careful of long A and dot. So sometimes when I learn, it's actually take more time to remember the dot also. The the verb is actually the ABC easy. So only dot dot have to remember. Number nine. So Okay, now we have the two also, so we should, like here we have comma, so we can break. So he, we can to sell, tum is to sell, ito from here, na gantua, yeah, gantua is a word one. Uh, this one, I think, suggests better don't work for the verb, all right? Because verb means it's action, but this action, this Infinity cannot stand by itself. Like he runs, she runs, can stand by itself. But to sell cannot run, cannot, uh, it's a, not a complete verb. So better put the word infinity. So he, he having gone here, Gandua, having gone here, having gone from here, Ito, to sell. Uh, yeah, I think you don't need a comma here. Having gone from here to sell, So having purchased from day, I think this one you can drop because we don't need the day for whatever. It may confuse. Okay. From day. Uh you no need from that also because this is a location. Definitely it's a location. So having purchased from day. So kini tua. Uh having purchased from day. So it break here. Then Ida came. Agachi, he came here. Okay, Agachi. So he came here, having purchased from there, he went there to sell. So it's better like this. After, no, this one, if you write this one, is wrong. After purchase from there. So you are starting from this one, number two. Cannot write it. This is the second point here. So should start with, this one after gone from here, so this is not this is not acceptable because which action should happen first? Uh, he have gone from here to sell. Actually, even the Pali is not logic, you know. Having gone here, having gone from here to sell, then having purchased from there, he came here. The logic is actually, even the Pali is not logic, but this is a make-up sentence. It's actually, I think this is a, you, you, if you change it, you change the sequence already. Because word one, uh, having gone, this one should, uh, should take play first, okay? Having gone from here to sell. Hmm. Can I, can I, so, having okay. So, can you do it on there? Having come from here, having come, ito having not having come, having gone. He okay. Now it's past then. He went. He went from here. To sell. Okay. Purchase from there and and he he went uh he came, okay. Now Agacha is here, he came came uh came here to sell. 
Dare will be he went there, he went from here to sell, purchased from there and came back. This means that he do trade action. He uh he he left this place to sell and then after he sell, he sell, then he purchased something there and come back here to sell, right? So you have to divide the three parts. Okay. I think this if you just copy from here is uh no, you don't have the word sell, okay. Came here. He went from here to sell. He purchased something there and came here. Right? So let's say uh after going after going from here to sell something. He purchased maybe another things from there and later he came back here. Okay, there is more logic, right? Uh, this is a we call it indirect. Okay, you just take it whatever is a more logic. Anyway, this is a makeup sentence. It doesn't matter. After going from here to sell something, he purchased. It's a past tense, so we have to put past tense. He purchased some another thing from there, and later he came back here. Then it makes sense. Akachi, actually, we can just put the word came back. Yeah, back here. All right? But it's okay, no problem. So, yeah, it's just a makeup. It's a makeup one, not a real one. Right? Okay, let's go for next one. <clears throat> this key, the root is key, yes. But when combined, becomes short I, kin. And then na become a, an A. So you got the fifth conjugation, okay? Na become a N dot. So it's a, some changes here. Long I, uh, long I become short I. And then the N become N dot. So why is it this changes? Okay, so okay, you can see the Sanskrit is this one. So Sanskrit is Cree. Okay, you can see that this is a Sanskrit. Because of the R sound, R sound is a lingua, okay. So that's why when you pronounce the NA, NA naturally can become the change it to N with the dot. Okay. Because of the influence of the R. You don't see the R in a Pali, but there's an R in Sanskrit. Due to the R, the N must become the lingua N. Okay. Kinna. Right. So this should be long A here. Kinna. So ki, kinna. Then kinnik. Kinna dental become lingua kinnar. When we say N with the dot means because due to influence the R. Okay? So that's why kinnar. Kinnar, you curl out the tongue when you pronounce the N. So this is a purchase. So after purchase. So this is a vikina. Vikina is cell. Okay? So V is a way of not purchase so somebody is buying. So V kina is a to sell to sell thing, not purchase. Kina is a purchase. Can you follow here? Because of the R, that's why the N change it to N. So we call it the uh like this due to R sound, the delta N is changed to lingua n okay because instead of you put the sound at the end so you curl the tongue so we can end when you say end with the dot you you cur cur curl up the tongue like when you pronounce the letter r so that is the or this one sometimes we use a special term we call it uh dental 
N is lingualized. Okay, that's a special word. Anyway, you only add with this example only because the inflows are R. Now, the N you cannot see, but actually the Sanskrit, there's an N dot here. Lingua, we call it the lingua N. Okay, so sometimes we can compare with the Sanskrit to understand the changes. All right, only this part is a little bit difficult. The rest is quite easy. Okay. Now, question number 10. Sache, if, so, he, chore, toa. After stolen, okay? After stolen, if he has stolen something, after stolen, uh, maybe after stolen first, okay? After stolen, sache is linked with this. If he, ida, here, gacheya, all right? When you use objective, objective you can use with the sache because Objective means that it's an action that might happen or might not happen, all right? So we can translate might, should, would, come. So I suggest don't put the word may because if you put the word may, you might confuse with the infinitive, all right? I think others might, should, would is okay. So if, so after stolen, so if he, would, might, should, would, come, this link with the word here, I, okay, Dandi Sami, okay, long A should be long A, okay, future verb three, yeah, verb one, verb two, verb three. So, you, you have two subjects here, so is a subject one, aham is another subject, so you got two subjects here, okay, so verb one. So, uh, I shall punish. I shall punish him, right? So the sentence is: If after stolen, if such a he would come here, agachati the agacheya, he should come here. Aya is a objective, the person singular. I, uh, shall might punish him, alright? Now, this word, dandai sami. Danda, okay? The word danda is like Malay word, den, denda. Okay? From the word danda. Danda is punishment. Stick. So, we call it stick or punishment. So, you can see the Sanskrit danda. Sound like Malay word, den, denda, right? Yeah, okay, so the noun is, it, actually this is, we call it, this is a noun. From the noun, it changed to a verb, right? So, chu become cho. Chu plus e, seven conjugation sign, become choro. Chore, chore plus tua, chore tua. A and gam, gam change it to gach, hatch, right? So then the you got the agacha, agacha plus a ya, so agache ya. First conjugation sign. So danda plus it's not a uh, okay, danda plus aya. Okay. So it's aya. So dandaya plus dandiya sami. So always remember dandiya sami. So okay. So when you see the dictionary like this, so you just drop the A. You can just drop the A. Okay. Then this is a... This one just to show that uh, there's a stand, strengthening of vowel, but it's not sure here. It's okay. Just leave it like this. Kayaji. Anyway, this sentence. Yes? Uh, yeah. Sorry. You, you, you just go ahead later. Can I ask a question? Uh, you want to ask about this or some other question? Uh, yeah. Yeah, number 10. Okay, okay, yes, you can ask now. Yeah. Saji, the the Ida, right? The Ida, how are we going to identify whether it's uh, belong to uh, Choretua or Agatia? Okay. Mm. My question. It should belong to this one, 
All right. Because Choritua is finished. So Choritua, he having stolen. But he didn't tell us stolen. But from the sentence, we understand that he steals somewhere. He should steal something somewhere. Then if he might come here. All right. So this Ida should belong to this Agacheya. I will punish him if he come here. This means I stay here. He is, he was, he's at another place. Can follow? Okay. Right. Okay. So, uh, Choritua should link with the so. So, uh, Sache. So, actually, Sache also can link with Choritua. Okay. Uh, because all these are just, uh, all these are in not not the present tense. All these are future tense and updated. That means that this action is not clear. Uh, he might not steal here. So let's say if let's say if he should. All right. So we're going to put it, if he should steal. Okay, maybe somewhere, somewhere, at somewhere. So if he should still at somewhere, right, then uh if he should stem somewhere, and maybe we can use the word n, all right? Because a tua, we can use the tua. When we see a tua, we can com use the word n to indicate uh choretua is the first action that if he should still at somewhere and come and should come here, come here, I will punish him okay if he should steal somewhere and should come here so even though we don't have the should but this gerund we can link with the aya so if aya is a should or might word so we can change the gerund according to the this aya so this means that here we can just this is should link with this one. Okay. So if he should steal somewhere and should come here, all right, I will punish him. Okay. Now is it clear this this translation? Okay. Okay, thank you, Sayaji. Alright. Okay, Chai Hoon, okay. So when the first part using updating, the second part can use a future tense is correct on a hiding. Updative and future tense, yes, because you can see a comma here. It, it, this is a two sentence, two clause. They are actually not connect. Even if you put verb one, verb two, actually verb three is because you have two subject, you know, so is one subject, aham is another subject. So verb one, verb two. Correct, but actually this is verb one. Verb one for subject number two. Okay. So this part should leave it out from me. This part. Okay. If it is same subject, then it must be all updated parts. Or gerund update. No, gerund, this gerund follow the updated. Gerund just to indicate is an action that takes place first. Okay. So this I translate should and should. So if you translate should or should, or if you don't want should, you can use he might. If he might steal or and he might come here. But it's not confirmed yet because this is objective. Objective means that this action might not happen at all. All right? Okay. Okay, so this part actually you should just uh leave it out. Actually, I think instead of put word one, word two, word three, because this is a subject number two. So for verb one, this is another verb for the subject number one. So this one actually you can leave out. It's nothing to do with this sign. I will punish him if he come here. If he still and should come here. Okay? That, that's the whole thing. Uh, how many we still have? Uh, yeah. So yeah, 
13, 14. Okay. Okay, so we finish here, then we stop here. <coughs> 11. Now, this sentence, it look long, but actually we can. Okay, you see a comma here, all right? So you definitely, you have to break at this comma. You have break here. So this part is actually another one. Such a if, tum he, you, you all, you, tato is from there. Ever place, agama, after come, having come. So if you come from there, so if if you come from there, if you have come from there, Ida here, uh, we, we delete the word may, all right? You might or you should would stay here. All right, so this is the second part. You may, or maybe don't use the word may because it confused with the impurity. You might or you must should, you might, you would, all right? You would stay here. So Mayam, we, so you have, well, this is subject number one, you is a subject one, Mayam is subject number two. So we, there, Gandua, having gone, was to stay. Uh, this is actually not verb. Infinity, just put infinity. Don't put word because it's confused. Actually, for this one, maybe just put word one and word two. It's because this part is actually nothing to do with that part. All right. So it's a separate place. So verb one for Gantua and verb two for Sakunisama. So having gone be at Tatra, they having gone there. So wasitum infinity sakunisama. We might would should be able to stay after going there. Alright. So that's the meaning. We would be able to stay after gone there. Alright. So look complicated, but actually since there's a comma here. So the first one you should identify by the comma. So we just translate this one part. Okay, this one part. Okay, so this part nothing to do with this part. So so we start with gamma, okay? So having come from there, you if you have come there. And would stay here. Right. So if you come from there and stay here, okay, that's the whole thing. And then the we we will we will be able to go go there and stay there. Alright, we will be able to go we can put a day also can. We will be able to go there and stay there. Alright, so that's a direct in that translation, if you have, if you come from there and stay here, we will be able to go there and stay there. <laughs> it's a, the sentence was a makeup one, not the real sentence. All right, I, I think we will stop here. So, any question about this? Number ten, the dan dan. It should be B and B plus I. Yeah. Hmm? Sorry. Which the, one? Number ten. Number ten. The the word, word analysis. Ah, this oh, yeah, like, danda, yeah, danda plus I, yeah. So, so the yeah. dictionary that one not correct, right? Danda, yeah, di. danda, ah, yeah, yeah. This is just to this n n dot is just to show it's just a small symbol. Dan plus I, yeah. yeah. So the bottom one also correct. Uh, no, no, I know so sure what is dan D A D D A D D A D no I don't think so D 
Actually, the root is danda. Yeah, I think you better take out this one. The root is actually danda. On the noun danda. All right. Okay. So we finish here. So the other thing R plus gum. Uh, this one Sayadi. is not. Yeah. Okay. Where? Uh, this one is uh not ma. Okay. This is ya. Okay. Taihun. M M Y. We change it to M M. Yeah. I because the suffix. Don't know how to do. <laughs> yeah. Because of suffix is ya. Beside the tua is ya. Okay. Uh yes. Uh Chu Fang, you want to say something? Yeah, Sayaji, sorry. I have a question for number uh, number 10. Uh, no, sorry, for number 11. Okay. Uh, sometimes uh, it's a bit confusing for me because we don't know. Uh, we look from the translations of the English translation mm -hmm. and then it looks like they have from there and stay here. And how are we going to know uh, the, the, the end and a, a, a and D N is in the because in the Bali text we can't see the N there. But okay. when the translation in English there is an N. So how are we going okay, to okay. you know adjust it? Because yeah. the Jaron, Jaron, okay, Jaron you can translate in three ways. After come and after coming, another one come and all right. So you can translate this one. Jaren oh. means an action take place. So that's if you want to translate in the third way, come and. So you come from day and. All right. So this is the end here. Okay. All right. Saji, I have another question. Um, this one is nothing to do with number 11, but it's about the uh, also, uh, the okay. Um, sometimes the suffix na when it is added to the jurons and then like uh, visitua na is it same with visitua? Oh, okay. yes, same, same, yeah, same. same. You uh, can see, see the Pali uh, make easy. They uh, okay, do you see this page 19? Right, sometimes the suffix na is added to general oh, as wasitua oh, okay, and na, gantua and na. Oh, okay, okay. So this uh this means that we have three suffix. One is tua, itua, another one is tua na, another one is ya. Alright, yeah. So okay. uta ya. So like just now, agam ya means after coming. Okay. okay. So just now you asked about n right? So mm. remember mm. you you look at the parliament is here again. We can translate in three ways. Okay, okay. Like gantua uh -huh. after going. Sorry. After going. I, I, yeah. After going. And third way is he goes and Oops. he goes there and all right so three way okay okay sorry okay. yeah my mistake okay. asaji and one more question what's the difference between ma gacha and ma gachi is there any difference ma gacha yeah ma is indication of uh uh not to do something right ma gacha yeah, okay. and ma gachi yeah, this gacha is with aries okay this one is uh -huh. a, this should be the imperative because ma gacha is a ma gacha hi. So means uh -huh. it's a imperative second person singular. This one will be Aries second person singular. Okay. So mm -hmm. this ma is a negative uh prohibition mm -hmm. can be connected with the um Imperative or Aries, all right? So I think you see in the one of the Bali, uh, where is it? Uh? Which page? I cannot remember. Yeah, yeah, they they have that, but uh, I'm not sure what's the difference. Okay, why is imperative? Uh, gacha okay. coming from the gacha he imperative second person singular. Okay. So gacha right. is a uh, Aries second person singular. Okay. Thank okay. You, okay so. Right. Yeah, okay, so yeah, next week we we'll continue the exercises. You no, know, so I think the Pali to English is easier. English to Pali is actually much more difficult. But uh maybe we will skip the English to Pali. Because I think first time also another reason because nobody speak speak Pali anymore. So 
actually quite kind of weird from the English to translate to Bali. But we might as well spend the time more focused on the sutta because it's more beneficial for us to learn from Bali to English. Uh, first, we can apply our in our sutta and we can see learn the Dhamma also. Okay, so we finish it. Okay, thank you. So see you tomorrow. All right, thanks for joining in this session. Okay, Sabe Sata Sukita Hondo, Avira Hondo, Avia Baja Hondo, Aniga Hondo, Suki Atana, Bari Harando, Idam no, Yatina Hondo, Sukita Hondo, Yatayo, right, Imano, Punya Bagam, Saba Satanam, Dema, Sadu Sadu Sadu. Oh, that's your sharing, Manix. All right. So if you have